course. You know, people bringing me comfort food. And so this weekend I really needed to do some exercise. So I went into my bedroom and I hunted around for my running shoes. I found them eventually and I got dressed up all nice and sporty, ready to go and do some physical exercise. So I walked downtown and I ended up in Caroline Bay. Now Caroline Bay is in Timaru and I have to say it's, it's a famous place. It is the most beautiful beach and beautiful park you'll ever come across. My breath was taken away not only because of the majestic scenery but I was puffed as hell because I've been walking for hours and hours. It's a beautiful place to, to explore and to uh, entertain your eyes and to really get back to nature. It was very, really peaceful. And it was also nice to meet a family that uh, shared a common interest with me. They were both lovely actually, and I couldn't stop for too long because, well, I had to get walking. But the more and more I walked and the more I explored, the more empowered I felt and I felt really good. It was a, a good time to walk and reflect on things. Anyway, I turned up to these uh, huge flight of stairs and I thought, well, there's a challenge. And you know what? I ran up those stairs and I met that challenge. Timaru's very own Peter Jackson here in the studio. Willy Willy Yum Yum making his own video diary of becoming a healthy person, much like Peter Jackson did when he obviously lost a lot of weight and become quite thin. So Willy, my key the studio. thing is about getting healthy. It's not actually about losing weight. Although losing weight is very important because um, I need to lose some. Yep. Uh, it's really about getting healthy. But also, uh, it's not just a journey about better health, but it's also about a better life. So if I, say, lose weight and, and, and feeling so much healthier and I've got clearer thinking, what are other things oh, I can look, enjoy I'm in life? I'm absolutely wrapped that uh, the music video that I made, which is to help spearhead this whole project, had 5,000 hits in three and a half days. So in your healthy lifestyle binge that you are documenting for the public, Willie, what's the healthiest, yummiest food you've discovered so far? Well, actually, I'm just eyeing up those cream buns sitting in front of you. Um, oh, let, get let, out me, of those. let me have some. Hey, oh, well, get, get out of them. <coughs> the key to long-term, I don't like the word dieting, um, is to, to focus on better food choices and be careful of the quick fixes out there, losing this much weight in a certain amount of time. Because, you know, we've got to address other things like your hormones and when you feed your cells properly, everything seems to come right and everything goes into balance. You've got to look on the inside first and then the outer will happen. So that's the key. Quick fixes are definitely no fixes. Quick foods to use on the run, scroggin. That's really easy. Make your own scroggin, which is just your balance of nuts and your sunflower seeds and your pumpkin seeds. And I have got really good chocolate that I also have that's actually a really healthy chocolate for you. So you can put that in there. So that's nice and easy and simple. Or homemade popcorn, again, making it with, other, with a bit of coconut oil or a little bit of butter, with again, with a sprinkling of sea salt. So that's really easy to make. Um, and of course fruit, fruit's easy to carry on the run all the time. So, so those things, again, keeping it really simple, but you do have to be a little bit organized if you want to do this for the long term. This is the key, this is not about diet. Dieting is short term, but if you want long term, healthier lifestyle options to make you woohoo forever, have better skin and better digestion, etc., you really have to put the changes in place because remember, most places don't cater for your needs, they cater for your wants.